Yo, what's going on guys? It's Frostfire here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be making a review on the upcoming Sugo Fest that's going to get global on the next three days. Uh, it's going to be the V2 Akainu and V2 Aokiji Sugo Fest, also known as the Admiral Sugo Fest. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the best Sugo Fests that's going to get global besides the Gear 4 and the Nami Sugo Fest. Because Akainu, both Akainu and Aokiji are pretty decent units and still to this point on Japan they have uh, very uh, high versatility and they are used a lot and they are still top tier so on global they will be certainly game breaker and game changing units so we we'll go ahead and uh, review the entire banner the entire new units that's coming out uh, starting from the rare recruit so the first rare recruit that we'll be checking out is brand new so brand new is actually a first appearance on one piece um, it's actually no other brand new unit on the game this is the only one so getting stockers for this guy is going to be through books only, which sucks, but hey, life's what it is. So we'll start off with the, by, by the captain. Um, as a 4 star, this guy will uh, double strength and unique characters attack by 2 times. And as a 5 star, you will uh, boost the attack for 2.5 times. Um, so as you, if you're starting your account, if you get this guy, great, he's a great captain. If you're, my, if you're with... An account that's way leveled up and more powerful, I guess. This guy is not going to make a captain, for sure. As for the special ability, this guy reduces enemies' uh, damage threshold and damage reduction duration by 4 turns. And makes strength and in characters quick, psi, RCV, TND, swats have matching sword effects for 3 turns. I'm kind of 50-50 on this special. Um, the first part is amazing. Reduces damage threshold and damage reduction duration, which by the way is the uh, rainbow shield that enemies have. Um, that part is amazing. The second part is kind of irrelevant because if you're using your own Akainu team, this part is absolutely irrelevant if, you're, if you use the Akainu special in the same turn. Um, but if you're not, and if you really need the matching slots, this guy is great. Um, I'm guessing you guys, since you're pulling on this batch, you guys are going to use this guy on his Akainu team. If you don't, fine. If you are, the first, the first part of the special is what we're really here for. Um, because the rest is kind of irrelevant but regardless it's a pretty cool unit and if you get it congratulations so for the next rare recruit we're going for my actually favorite rare recruit from this game because quick and Psy are my favorite two covers and this girl just goddamn so as starting off with the captain ability in actually doubles Psy and quick characters attack same as brand new uh, as a 2.5, she will boost the attack for 2.25 and RCV by 1.25. So, if you're starting account, this is a great unit. If you're not, don't don't care. Don't stress out. It's, her special is unique in the game. So, she will delay all enemies by one turn. And if your captain is a Psy or Quick type, doubles the type effects of normal attacks for Psy and Quick characters attacks for one turn. So, Ina is actually the only character that does... Uh, two times affinity boost for quick and psi in the game Still to this point on Japan. There is no other unit that does the same as them as her sorry and As I said since quick and psi are my favorite cover types You know just does it all so I really want to land on In in my box um, Even if I don't get Kuzan, which I really do hope But Ina is absolutely amazing. So she's by far the best rare recruit from this banner and the last and final rare recruit that you're going to be seeing is Sengoku so his captain ability reduces special charge time by one turn at the start of the quest and doubles quick characters attack as a four star and as a five star does the same thing but uh, boosts the attack for put for 2.5 I can't speak today Jesus um, which again is a great starter captain but besides that it's not really useful as for the special, I really love it as well. Reduces attack down and despair duration by 4 turns. And if 4 or more quick or side characters are on the crew, doubles crew swats effects and makes RCV and TND swats have matching swat effects for 1 turn. So, there is a lot to do here. First off, it reduces attack down and despair. Absolutely amazing for 4 turns. Then if 4 or more quick or side characters, which will be in the Kuzan team, boosts... Uh, I mean, doubles crew SWAT effects and makes RCV and TND SWATs have matching SWATs effects for one turn. So, the last part, the RCV and TND SWATs are irrelevant in a Kuzan team, unless you use this guy uh, in a separate turn from Kuzan special, because if you use on Kuzan special, this part is irrelevant. But the double SWAT effect 
boost is amazing. So this guy is probably the best swap booster for Kuzan teams because he will take advantage of both parts, of um, of the both two parts besides the the boost the swap boost. Um, and attack down in despair duration, reduce, reducing the attack down in despair duration by five turns, by four turns. God damn, it's really, really cool uh, because Kuzan teams really need that. And this guy is amazing. Again, even not in a Kuzan team, is great. Probably great. I didn't see that. Um, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna put on some teams on the on the final part of the video so you guys can can see what to expect if you get the, the entire batch. Um, and this guy is absolutely amazing. So again, Ina and Sengoku really need to get on my box on the Sugo Fest. If they don't, I'm gonna be mad. All right. So now into the legends. So the first legend we're gonna be seeing is Akainu, um, and Akainu has some somewhat of a unique captain ability. Um, it says boost strength and in characters attack by two point by three point twenty five. Sorry. Makes their strength in swats have matching sword effects and deals non-type damage to one enemy at end of turn. Maximum of 500 times character's attack, depending on number of perfect strikes during that turn. Alright, so first part, great. 3.25 as a base attack boost is amazing. Um, makes strength and end swats have matching sword effects, great. And deals 500 times character's attack on one unit at the end of a turn. So, that with maximum uh, level of 199, max limit break, max gun, and 100 attack on a candy, that's 2 million damage per Akainu, if you're running 2, in one single character. So, that is amazing. All that said, I still don't like this guy, because I think, and, my, and I might be wrong, because I refuse to follow uh, much of Japan's content, um, so I really don't know, I've seen this guy in action, but I really don't know what the content uh, does to him. Meaning, I don't know if the last part, like the 2 million damage at end of turn part of the cabinet ability is still relevant at this point in Japan. I don't know, I have no idea because I don't follow Japan that much. But I feel like it depends a little bit too much on it. Um, but we will see. I mean, if the content doesn't really hurt him that much, goddamn. Goddamn. Right, for his special, changes all slots, including block slots, uh, to strain, int, and boosts. Strain in, in characters sword effects by 2.25 for one turn. Sorry, I got confused there. So basically, he shuffles all orbs, including box slots, which is really important, to strain or int, and boost strain in in characters sword effects by 2.25 for one turn. So basically, it gives a full batch of matching orbs and boosts the slots by 2.25, which is pretty crazy. Um, all this in one unit, which is absolutely mind blowing. But yeah, that's a kind of for you. And now the last one that we'll be seeing is my boy Kuzan, which is pretty similar, which in the Captain ability says, boost quick and psych characters attack by 3.25 and HP by 1.35. So again, as a kind of base attack boost by 3.25 is absolutely crazy. And boost the HP by 1.35, which I love, um, because having a little bit of HP boost is really important nowadays. So, so far, amazing. Makes their quick side swats have matching sword effects, and if characters land good or better attacks in the order of psi psi quick, without breaking the chain, boosts quick and psi characters attack by a third or 1.25 times. That's a lot of information, right? So first part is done. Second part makes quick psi swats have matching sword effects. So either quick and psi units will have matching sword effects if they land on a quick or psi swat. Great. And if characters land good or better attacks in the order of Psy Psy Quick, so if for, so if you attack with two Psy characters in a row and then a Quick character, uh, Kuzan will boost the attack by a further 1.25 times, which will end up in a grand total of 4 times. So, the three last attacking characters on your crew will have a 4 times attack all the time, which is absolutely crazy. This guy is crazy. And that's just the cabinet ability because the special ability changes all blocks, I said blocks, slots, including block slots, as a kind of to quick or psi and boosts quick and psi characters attack by 2.25 for one turn. Holy shit! This guy. Okay, so again, as a kind of gives you a full batch of matching orbs and will boost the quick and psi characters attack by 2.25 on top of that four time attack for one turn. That is a lot of damage. And remember, 
one thing that I don't said that I didn't say about a Kainu, uh, the batch, the the rare recruits they come out with them don't really help a Kainu that much. The only character that you can use on a Kainu team is brand new, and as I said, it's not really relevant for damage output in a way. Kuzan, on the other hand, has Ina, which is a two-time conditional boost, not conditional affinity boost, for Quick and Psy, and Sengoku, which is a two-time orb booster for Quick and Psy. So just those three. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't, this is, this guy is going to be game breaking, um, I mean, there's not really much I can say, besides that, uh, the Suka Fest is going to last, I think, four days, uh, the first part is going to be from the 30th of August all the way to 2nd of September, so that's four days, they have to pull, and here on the event info, you guys can check out really quickly, uh, where is it, the parts, right, so part one, as I said, 30 to 31 of August, part 2, 31 of August to 1 of September, and part 3, 1st of September to 2nd of September. And they, they will actually be uh, different, so uh, part 1, part 2, and part 3, the first pool on all of the parts will be 30 Rainbow Gems, the 3rd, the 6th, and the 8th pool will be a guaranteed uh, Sugafest exclusive, which is great, because there are not that, gr that many Sugafest exclusives. Um, the fourth pool will be a last one poster guaranteed to be a showcase character, which is any character from the banner. Um, the tenth pool will be a um, Sugafest exclusive plus recommended Sugafest exclusive will be rate boosted. And the last pool will be uh, guaranteed to be a Sugafest exclusive plus they will come um, as max level. And as I said, parts will be different. So the part one will feature both Akainu and Aokiji. And the other legends that are boosted are Rufy Nace, which I don't have. Frankie, which I don't have, Buggy, which I don't have, Porsawinu, which I don't have, Shiraoshi, I have, Fujitora, I have, and part twos will be just Akainu, no Aokiji. So I'm guessing the rates, I can't see the rates, I think, uh, but I th I'm guessing that the part two will be a very higher booster rate of Akainu, and the part three will be a very higher uh, booster rate of Aokiji. And for part two, we have Buggy, Porsawinu, Dofi, Dex Dofi. We have uh, Robin, we have Quick Marco, Teach, and um, Dogstorm. A part three, again, Aokiji, Buggy, Borsalino, Shanks, V2 Shanks, V2 Rayui, uh, Psy Law, yeah, Psy Law, Uso Land, and Boa Hancock, Psy Boa. So, yeah, that's pretty much right about it. Let me see if I can check out the drop rates. Uh, Sugo Fest part one. Yeah, I can't. Okay, so there's only the Sugo Fest part one. We can out. We can check that out. No, we can't. Okay, but I'm guessing just the part two would be Akainu's rate boosted um, compared to part one, and part three will have a, a higher uh, chance of um, getting uh, getting Aokiji than part one. This is what I'm guessing. Um, anyway, that's it for this this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, I actually forgot to mention if you hear a background noise, it's my computer because. Wayway is being overeating like crazy, I don't know why, um, I need to get new vents, but anyway, this is it for the video guys, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, I'm gonna go hard on this Sugo, I really want Kuzan and Ina and Sengoku and all the units that I don't have, because right, I guys, so on screen right now, you guys can see the most powerful Kuzan team I came up with, probably there's another one that does more damage, this is the one that I came up with on top of my head, so it's a double Kuzan, uh, featuring the new Ina and Sengoku, uh, Bo Hancock from the raids, for the chain walk and the delay and Raizu from the the, the Coliseum uh, from the DOA conditional booster. So this is assuming that the um, the the enemy can be delayed and you have the all the specials activated. So 37 million damage against Psy and 25 million damage against Strength, 12 million damage against Quick and Psy. I said 37 million against Psy. It's in sorry and almost 9.5 million against Dex, so that is the most powerful Kuzan team I came up with. This is the first Akatsuki team that I came up with, it's using your uh, V2 Shanks with a friend um, Akainu. This is because I want to use the um, Raid Akainu for the Affinity Boost, which will do more than 20 million damage than a double Akainu team. So this team is featuring uh, Whale from Rare Recruits, Mihawk from the, Rare Recru the Legend Mihawk 6+, um, it's not doing much here, I mean, just here for the after damage, if you get there. And um, the newest uh, raid, uh, Lucy. This is, again, with the uh, the enemy delayed. 
This is a team that does 47 million damage to Psy, which is a lot of damage, and 14 million damage to any other color. So this is the, the first one. The two Akainu team uh, featuring Nico Robin, which is an old ass unit, Dogstorm and Carrot. So again, I'm putting some uh, strength units here. That might be the one, that might be ones that they do most damage, more damage. I mean, uh, this is the one that I just came up with. Uh, Carrot for the chain walk, Dogstorm for the um, the sabo effect. We'll see for the delay and the condition boost. Robin for the two times int um, attack boost. And you can do more, you can put on more uh, straight, um, I mean, int units in the team, take out some straight units to utilize Robin more. But again, I just wanted to use some straight units to mix it up a bit. So this is the second team that I came up with, uh, with Akainu. There might, might be better ones. I don't know. I just came up with this uh, idea. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next video. Suga Fest is going to be huge. Um, and as, as, as always, good luck on the pools. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.